Good morning, and welcome to Woodlawn United Church's worship moment for the second week of Easter, leading up to the second Sunday in Easter, in the season of Easter. Today we'll be doing uh, prayers of the people, prayers of thanksgiving and intercession on behalf of the United Churches for Dartmouth. And as we begin today, I'd like to light the Christ candle and give us a chance to focus and to center ourselves as we come to God in prayer. So we light the Christ candle as we do each week in prayer and in, in worship as an opportunity to clear ourselves of those things that are distracting from us so that we can hear and listen to what God is saying to us. So let us pray for a moment. Spirit of God, we ask you to open our hearts and minds and to remove anything that will keep us from hearing your word to us this day and always. Center us, calm our hearts and our minds. So, would you join with me now in our prayers of the people? Uh, I'll, I'll say a prayer and then I'll give you time near the end to add your own individual prayers to God and then we'll finish with the Lord's Prayer. Okay, let us pray. benevolent force at the heart of the universe that we call God. You in whom we live and move and have our being, and whom we know through Jesus of Nazareth, we come this first week in the season of Easter to give you thanks and praise for all your gifts of life and love to us. Firstly, today we give you thanks for the resurrection of Jesus and through it our freedom from the power of fear of death. We give thanks as well for the truth that leads us to life through following the way of Christ, the way of love, of service, of justice. This week in particular, we give thanks for the experience of the risen Christ in our lives as well, as well as for those who have not had a chance to have that experience and yet still believe. We thank you that you are able to handle our questions and our doubts. God, we mourn our losses during this epidemic and pandemic. It's a time of sadness. And we pray that you be with us even as we pray for resurrection, for a new economy, for new priorities that include all people, especially those left out of the, the old, normal one. Give wisdom for the decision-making of our leaders. Help them discern the proper time to ease restrictions when it comes time. And we're finding it so hard to follow those rules. Don't allow the loudest voices or the needs of the economy, as important as they are, to endanger life itself. We also give thanks for unexpected benefits from this emergency, for cleaner air and water, for courage and service in essential workers, the ceasefire for so many wars and conflicts around the world, and a break from school shootings in the United States, the first in many, many years. We give you thanks for churches without buildings, for connection while distancing, for love expressed without the benefit of hugs. And we prank, thank you for new skills in technology. Help us to use this forced pause in our lives to examine them and the values that we have and to make in changes, important changes as we come out of this. Thank you for giving us the creativity to think outside of our church boxes, our normal ways of doing things. 
And as always, God, we thank you for your healing power. Even as we pray to be open to it, and we pray for all those who have lost loved ones recently or not so recently for reconciling, reconciliation to our losses. Give us hope, hope in times of cynicism and despair, courage and faith in times of anxiety and fear, and love instead of selfishness. We pray now in silence for those individuals and situations most on our hearts and in our minds. We ask all of these things, spoken and unspoken, in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. To tune in tomorrow at 10 o'clock for our scripture and sermon time. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.